Hey guys, and welcome aboard to our next playthrough of Star Fox 64. Today we're going to show off the and the things you would, you get to see if you decide to go to the middle path. Now the way to do so is to um, to accomplish the mission on Sector Y, which I'll showcase later. Why? So in the meantime, we're off to Katina. Oh, by the way, oh, by the way, that's not the only sci-fi reference this this planet makes. It's also a straight up Independence Day homage. Sorry, Bill. Oh, hey, Bill. So yeah, no, there, there are a lot of movies that this game. Pays homage to. So do we know Bill from anywhere? So yeah, this is in this mission we're introduced to him, Fox's old uh, friend from the Academy, Bill. Bill Gray. Mm -hmm. uh, who not only is a good good pilot, all things considered, but he has a rather subtle California surfer accent. Wait. Dude, we can totally catch up later, like watch things on the tube, you know, man. Dude, we, got, dude, we gotta hang out at in and out. So be warned in this level, um, it's not only the enemy ships, but a bunch of them are also allies. And if you shoot one down, uh, Bill is going to call you out on it. So be very careful. The best way to mitigate that, though, is to just use your charge shot. It'll only lock on to... It does aim at um, enemies. Okay, good. By the way, I do... That being said, I do love when, like... You're... Oh, whoops. Sorry. Oh, devil damn it. By the way, I love... Ooh. By the way, not only does... Not only Fox, everyone else in the Star Fox team can literally oh, shoot down others. Okay, he flew in the way of the ship. That's his fault. <laughs> yeah. What happens if we blow up too many of them? Don't worry, it doesn't affect anything. I just think you don't get any hit points for it. Fox, <laughs> you killed all our men! Oh, bogus. I think my favorite one is whenever uh, Epi takes down one and It's just his reaction is so freaking perfect. What does he, what does he do? Uh, there's one down. Wait, that was one of ours! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> like, just, he just does a double I want to say he says it here, but I forget. <laughs> he just does a double take. Oh. Sorry, Peppy. But just, I'm just imagining, I just imagine Bill, like, in that same casual attitude. Fox, that guy had, like, two days to retirement to meet his wife after the fight. <laughs> Jeez. Guilt trip. Why you gotta be, why you gotta be, oh gosh, there's Independence Day. Oh, you know, boy. There she is. Bulldog unit. Don't let anything Bulldog through. unit. Not even that mothership? So what do we do with the mothership? That is literally taking up a sp Oh, gosh. Uh -oh. Here's the Independence Day homage. Oh, yeah, and if you do not solve this mission in time, you will definitely see the Independence Day homage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we need to stop this thing before it blows up the base. Which is funny thing about Actually, considering that movie came out like a... Like, I think it was a develop... It, it came out like, like roughly a year before this game did. What year did this game come out? 97. Yeah, no, it was a year. Here they come. So it was pretty much in development by the time the movie came out. Maybe it was just like, oh gosh, there's enemies everywhere. Oh. So maybe it was just, maybe it was just uh, like coincidence. Also, I just noticed you can accidentally damage the base itself. If not coincidence, if not coincidence, then I think they just. Oops. Damn it, Peppy. Steve, what were you trying to say earlier? Um, I was just about to say, just because they, he said this is called the Bulldog Unit, just for some reason that makes me think that one of them would be like, where's the mothership? This stinks! This uh -oh. is Tobias! This is- oh, there it is. Ow! <laughs> Damn it, Falco. So yeah, you gotta, you gotta take out the four hatches, first and foremost. See, James, see, sorry, sorry, see, hi, you, you're saying that, me, I'm imagining that, like, two of these ships are going back and forth, and was like, he's on my tail! And then another one shoots and, like, helps the other guy off, and the other guy, uh, and then another tinier ship shoot, flies by and shoots off the enemy, saving the big one. The guy just looks back, he's like, that's my boy! <laughs> okay, well, well I, was, hey, you know, Spike I was trying to make a Fraser reference, but okay. Well, hey, hey you know what? Hey, Spike. No kidding. Thanks, Bill. But, um, oh shit, I just realized, I think I lost my wing. So this will be it. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, yeah I see it's off. Please. Now, as far as I'm concerned, uh, as far as the supplies rock can send, it's usually smart bombs or health. I wish I would I would love it if he sent in the occasional wing repair or um up, or laser upgrade, but no, he usually just sticks to oh, wing repair. Oh no, wait, never mind. There you <laughs> go. Oh, that's what I said. All right. In all fairness, though, that's incredibly rare. Oh, yeah, no, I was saying, that's a, I was saying this whole play, that's the first time I saw that come out. Gives you what you need when you need it. <laughs> Thanks, Rob. Man, I'm we thirsty. Drinks have been sent. 
And good job, Slippy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Once again, it's like, I can't find He's like holding up a piece of the ship, and Peppy's like, very good, Slippy. We'll put this one right on the fridge. Turk. <laughs> piece of the ship on the fridge. <laughs> no, they just put it on the side of the great box. God, now I just really hope all those rumors about a Star Fox racing game are true. Oh, if they ever decide to expand upon 64's lore, 64's very good. stuff with that. Alright, we're good. Now we just okay. need... Uh-oh. Now we gotta take up the core. Oh, jeez, hurry. Oh, hello. And let me just say, the dumbest fucking thing happened during this instance. What happened? I won't, I won't say what happened, but... Oh, just gosh. Watch. We're low, We're running low on health. There's the core. You only have a minute in order to take out the core, so, uh, air pressure. Oh, yeah, if not that, then also I can find it really funny. It's like, oh, very good job, Slippy. We'll use this as the fridge. <laughs> wow, oh, gosh, we're low on health. Oh, oh, gosh. Oh, 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 no. no, 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 no. Can you, can you, can you? Not even close. Not, not even close, baby. Not even close. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Stay on target. Stay on target. Oh, gosh. Not even 20 close. seconds left. 20 seconds left. In all fairness, though, this isn't really too hard to do. It's just but you gotta be careful of everyone flying around you. Right, because you could run into someone not even knowing it. Got it! There you go! Oh, oh, no. We're going oh, down! Oh. Yeah, I died literally as I took out the core. Wow. Oh, <laughs> Thank you, Pepper. No. What did he say? Wait, what did he say? I, I yeah. couldn't hear him over. I couldn't hear him over Matt's yeah, condescending clap. It. No, he. I. That was just a little joke on my end. I just literally pulled up his. What? <laughs> yeah, because like, he's about as dumbfounded as I was. <laughs> but we did it. Now, okay. Oh. Now, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Logan. Now that you described it, Matt's clapping is condescending. Now, Fox, that's not how you get rid of energy cores. To be, uh, fuck, you know, it's funny you say that considering our our ally for this mission was Bill. Now, that's, and, that, and on wait, and now, on, Fox, you, you can't Fox. just die after completing uh, a mission. James. You, Bill. Hmm? Now, also, oh, now I think about oh, it. Right. That, honestly, now I think about J James. You may not even think of it like that was actually oddly appropriate considering the Independence Day parallels. You could have Fox going, "I'm back." Uh, Boom. Yeah, that's right. That's essentially what I did. Uh, you did do that. You pulled an Independence Day. Okay, where are we going? And, and the rule and the rule of Fox shall be played today by Randy Quaid. Oh yeah, by the way, Matt, you should feel right at home with this look upcoming level. We're literally gonna ride on the f surface of the fucking sun. Time to get hot. Yeah, uh, yeah, no. With where I am right now, fuck. So this is just the sun of this solar system. Called solar. Be reasonable. <laughs> Come on. Out of, out of the frying pan. This is literally something right out of a jackass episode, Fox. Don't do it. I, I swear, Fox. just all this talk about heat and frying pans is making me want an omelet. So, um, oh. I'm not gonna lie. The Virtual Console version kind of butchered this level in terms of its visual visual style. It's like a lot more desaturated. Yeah. It's, a little, it's a lot more desaturated. Now, if you were to see this game, this this stage in the on um, 3DS, my God, it looks like a straight up sun. Oh gosh! Uh -oh. Oh, oh, you're taking constant damage here. Yes. So, what I would recommend doing is that for the majority of the level, you stay, for the majority of the level, yeah, don't fly too low. Stay on the top at all times if you can. Okay. Actually, but you know what? You know what the best part is though? Since we came here from Katina, we won't have to do this mission alone. Yay! Oh, oh, that's yeah. right. Like oh. oh, so that so that's the benefit. Well, thanks for those upgrades. That's Don't the benefit you get to starting this with that. Mm -hmm. And even helps you out with a couple of the meteorites. <laughs> yeah, it's like just real quick. It's like Bill, uh, Fox, didn't you hear what Pepper said about flying too close to this? Watch yourself, Fox. So he helps you out, gives you health upgrades. Yeah, that's cool. That's nice. Yeah, that is cool. Yeah, just it's the whole dynamic that can happen that I do appreciate with this game. The story. The, oh boy. I, I I like how the story is more or less revealed through the gameplay itself. Oh uh, yeah, very yeah. much so. I mean, it's subtle, but you can you can pretty much make the power. You can pretty much make your own context with what's going on in the story. All I'm but, saying. Um, okay. All things considered, I used to think this—I used to think this level was going to be hell, uh -huh. hell, literally. It's honestly not bad, not that bad on on um, repeat playthroughs. Especially again, if you if you mostly stay at the top, because you lose the le lo the least health doing it like that. Oh, Slippy, what are you doing? Slippy. Slippy. Okay. I actually just real quick—the fact that 
The fact that they're so close to the sun, despite Pepper clearly saying they shouldn't be that close to the sun, just made me think of, Oh, let's stay at the sun! It has a view! Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I thought stay cool. at the sun, they said! Nothing would go wrong, they said! Oh, and then you said, and then, oh, when I said it get too hot, you were like, No, it's fine, we'll go out when it's night! By the way, um, I just realized something How was else. I supposed to know it never uh, got cold on the sun? I just realized something else. Aside from the rings, every once in a while, especially from Rob, we get a couple bombs. Shouldn't they have set off considering we're literally on the surface of a goddamn oven? Yeah, they're like the bomb arrows in Goran Mountain, but the wild. Yes. Oh, geez, careful. Uh, so what was I going to say? Crap, yeah. I was going to say earlier. Uh, oh, oh, here's our, oh, and then here's our boss. Shoot. Oh, wait, boss. This is the enemy file. Oh, no. It's a fiery mantis. Yeah, a chicken mantis, basically. Oh, 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 wait, 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 I got it, I got it, I got oh. it. It's a, it's a frying mantis. It is a, uh, it, it is a frying mantis, you're right. Oh, jeez. Hey, where'd you go? Oh. Nobody, okay. So, no, so, no, go ahead, no, go ahead, uh, repeat your joke. Actually, I was actually, I, we, did, we didn't hear it, but repeat it anyway, because I already finished my joke. Well, I did hear you. Hey, I did you hear it, like but you were. Oh, psycho Okay, mantis. that's what you were Sorry. saying. Sorry, okay. I, I, I didn't. I, honestly, I didn't hear. Honest, I, I heard you yelling, but I think Here's since you were trying to replicate the, the, the mask, it came out muffled on my end. Yeah, same. That's yeah, that's what I was about to say. You. Yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah. Now that we took uh, both of its arms, now we just gotta take out the head and boom. You did it. Uh, oh, tell me right. when you guys get to 12.15. Okay, oh. three, and two, one, 15. play. Now. now. 12.20, oh. sorry. Okay. Three, two, now. now. Yeah. Alright, sorry. Okay, 12, we play three, this player three, can be two. shit. I'm okay. No, dur, you flew close to the sun. Seriously. Quite literally. Okay. okay, all you I'm saying... Now, all... Now, all I'm saying for this game in general is that, especially given the parallels that were almost called upon in uh, Mario Superstar Saga with the Bean Bean whole thing, and the fact that there is and the fact that there is clearly an R wing uh, in the data of Ocarina of Time, look it up. Mm -hmm. uh, all I'm just saying, uh, having a Nintendo like connected universe, I'd be down for that. Like with like with F Zero, <laughs> Metroid, and Star Fox meeting up at some point. And Olimar, screw it, add Olimar to the mix. I remember there were rumors of like a, I think it was like an F Zero Star Fox crossover that was being rumored for years, but yeah. The enemy base. Great uh, yeah, I think that was called Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. Yeah, anyway, we're off to Macbeth. No, I mean like Beth. years after that. Wait, Macbeth? Mm, wait, oh. what? What about Macbeth? What? You mean like Shakespeare? I thought I could take you out to the plays tonight. Also, and we're literally hey, going in style as we're riding our R wing again for the yeah, final time, actually. Master. Landmaster. Landmaster. Not our wing, Landmaster. Way. Anyway, what was I saying earlier? Uh, oh. I caught the train. Yep, got blow it up. Picking it out. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, good oh, start. What was I gonna say? Uh, out a little hyenas now. Oh, hyenas. Hyenas. Oh gosh. Oh, we're not even. Oh boy. We're not laughing. Yeah, you go. <laughs> Now. All those hain is you flinched when you should have scurried. <laughs> ah, yeah. So, so how do we catch up with that train to blow it up? Um, we will eventually. Don't worry. This is this is pretty much a scripted level. Okay. But for now, we're just, we're just literally just going through the motions, taking out whatever opposition's in our way, including everything that's up in the air, even though uh, we're clearly on the land. Uh, yeah. Dude, trying to see the, seeing this thing and try to do a barrel roll is so funny. Like, lula, 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 lula. Lula. <laughs> no, right. Oh, that's right. The other question was to ask. Uh, comparing this to the 3DS remake, what do you think, Dave? I mean, it was a little awkward to get back to, back into personally. I mean, you can't you can't quite you can't exactly customize your controls. There's no save feature. Um, Wait, they didn't have a C feature in the 3DS version? No, no, no. They have no. They have it in the 3DS version. The original did not. Oh, okay. Never mind. I thought you were talking yeah, about going to the 3DS version from the 64 version. 
Oh, no, no, no. If I was if I was to compare the two, I think the 3DS version is the definitive way to play the game. Even if they did, even if everything was remixed. Like, right down to, again, the voice work. Like, they did get most of the actors back, but then you got the ones that, well, had to be replacements, and, well, you get used to them. It's just that if you're really well-versed in Star Fox 64's history, it's like, they, felt, they sound like pretenders. Gotcha. Faker. Thankfully, that's the only time I have to worry about saving someone's ass in this thing. Can we boost forward to catch up? Oh, yeah, actually, we can. And actually, that's another thing I should bring up real quick. Um, I tried to bring this up earlier, but I couldn't. But basically, um, your R-Wing, your Lam... Lam... Lam Master! And, uh, everything else has a little, um, energy gauge on the top right of the screen, and it pretty much goes down whenever you use a specific... Anyway, um, anyway. Uh, basic, basically, like, if you do a barrel, well, I don't know so much of a barrel roll, but, like, if you boost, you slow down, do a U-turn or loop-de-loop, -loop, it does take up energy. And uh, one thing I do think kind of sucks about Star Fox 4 3D, which I'm grateful that Zero fixed, you couldn't do any of your special moves if your gauge was ever in the red. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, it was, like, on a cooldown. Yes, it's a cool, it's a kind of an obnoxious cooldown, if I can be honest. Right. Especially when you use up your sh use up your stuff for too long. But anyway, pra we're practically at the end of our Macbethic Macbethic venture, and now we have to worry about um now we have to worry about um, taking out some switches. Gotta hurry. And if you if you fail to shoot if you fail out fail to shoot any of the switches, you will have to you will have to face a boss fight with this train, and that pretty much counts as a stage complete. But we want to accomplish our mission, so in order to do that, we gotta put the switches, all eight of them. Yeah, the one on the right, one on the right. Oh boy. I, I was gonna make a joke, but we already make a lot of switch jokes as it is. So. Hey, yeah. It's right here, don't you know? Oh geez, he has a kite. Yeah. I, a a kite, kite slash <laughs> thingy straight out of freaking. It feels like this came, it came straight out of a certain anime. I don't know what though. Maybe God. Uh, nice. Lovely day to fly kites. Evangelion. It looks like something you can do with one of those. Oh yeah, by the way, Falco actually does help you out in this instance, so thank you, Falco. Oh, oh the switch on the left? Okay. I got it, don't worry, I got it already. Oh, okay, okay. So now we just gotta flip the switch. Or, excuse me, flip the uh, main switch. And with that, we're done! Click! Boss fight averted. And, well, here's a little sequence that was ripped straight out of AOSTH. What is it? Wait, where's it going? Uh oh! Oh! Oh, jeez! Oh, right into a bunker! Stop it! Ouch! Ooh. Dead! <laughs> He's dead. Dead! Oh, oh. I, I, you know what? That's I think going he, out in style. You know, I don't think he's alright anymore. I don't think he's gonna make it. I think double dead is another statement. I think he has quite the boo boo. <laughs> I can't see the look of their stupid left. faces if their faces still existed anymore. <laughs> now it really feels like Macbeth. Yeah, it does. All right. So the, so the name of the planet was totally appropriate. Uh, so that Falco, was... where are you? Oh, there you are. Yeah, yeah, you know if this game wasn't PG, he would have said that so much. Yes, like that. yes, he would have. He would have so much. He's like, gosh, damn it, why not have to be dubbed? It? Falco would totally be that kind of guy that would swear wherever he's so often. He, yeah, yeah, he would totally he be our would. Sully. I'm, I'm sorry, just for some Duke. reason, for some reason, Logan, the way you said that just made me have this mental image of Falco going, come on, baby, let me see ass just this once. <laughs> oh my god! Where does that come me. from? Oh, hang on. And so the Star Fox team, completely satisfied with their victory against Venom's Weapon Depot and Macbeth, proceeded off to Venom. Until they got an urgent news about this year's E3 being held in Corneria, so they wasted no time to go Double back the way it. they came to watch the event. Which we're gonna do that. We are we actually gonna do that chronologically. We probably will. <laughs> what? Yes, we're doing it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thank you, General Pepper. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the exclusive stuff in the middle route. Next time, we're going full-on hard mode. Well, if you all can't help me, then I'll just go get my reserve. Hello, Lonely Hearts Club Ban, you're on reserve. Uh, <laughs> Till next bye, time, everybody. Bye-bye. Good luck.